Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Deanna Clark Esposito and I'm here to talk to you today about developing an export plan. Whether you're new to entering new markets or you are an experienced exporter, this plan is going to help you move more quickly and more efficiently. So let's get started. The first part of your export plan is going to be the executive summary and the introduction. The introduction is going to talk about why you're thinking about exporting why you see the opportunity, and where. Starting with part one, it's going to contain your export policy statement. Just like any other integral part of your business, you want to understand where this fits in, why you have this policy, and your commitment to exporting. So your policy and any procedures that you have that accompany this policy. In the next section, you're going to put down information regarding the situation and the background analysis. So this will include things related to the product you're exporting or the service that you may be exporting. It's also going to include those sections involving what resources your firm currently has to dedicate towards this new venture, along with the industry itself. What's the structure? What's the competitive environment, et cetera? Part three is your marketing component of it. And so you're looking at which markets are more competitive, uh, where you may have the best opportunity, you're going to look at your distribution methods, and you're also going to be identifying your sales goals. What are your forecasted profits? What are your potential losses? Just to make sense of where those opportunities really are. Part four is where you're going to be identifying your primary targets. Uh, where is your primary market that you wanna focus on? What are your secondary target markets that you want to focus on? Part five is going to be in relation to your export budget. At this time, you'll pull together your financial statements and you'll want to make sure that the numbers make sense, that this new venture isn't going to overextend you, that you understand where the money will be coming based on what volume of sales you anticipate having. In addition, if you have other staff that you may need to bring on board or other expenses, you want to understand what those are going to be in relation to what your projected revenue will be as well. Last but not least, you'll put together your implementation schedule. And this is going to include both follow-up with respect to any of the above portions of the export plan that you've already put together, as well as your management's periodic review of the operations. This way they're able to measure how has your export plan actually been implemented, how successful is it going, what changes need to be made, uh, and you're able to measure that against what your original export plan was. The last part that you'll attach to your plan is the addenda. On the addenda, you're going to have your background data, whatever data you compiled to begin with, information on how competitive the environment is. These are the things that will be included in your addenda. For more resources, you can head over to our website. You can also check out our other videos at the Clark Esposito Law Firm PC YouTube page. And I look forward to seeing you again there. Take care and thanks for tuning in.